uh, hi uh, in this video we are going to see uh, how we can use the flow variable in order to do that i am going to create a new proxy i'll just create a proxy i'll just use this reverse uh, proxy option then i'll give the assign variable demo and then i'm going to use the api which will go the http variables and i'll give that api details here in the target endpoint so when we invoke this uh, proxy it will going to invoke the it's going to invoke this uh, target api okay i'll just give next and i'm going i'm not going to give the any uh, validation for this uh, particular demo i'm just giving a pass through as a username i'm giving a pass through which means no authorization required okay next and i want only the http a secure url so i just selected the default secure option and i'm going to only deploy the test environment okay so now it's deploying to the test environment so once it's deployed i'm going to invoke uh, this uh, proxy endpoint okay so i'll just in, uh, invoke from my postman okay so i have a get method and i'm invoking my proxy which i uh, deployed in the apg platform so in that what is happening is once i invoke the proxy it in turn invoke the target endpoint which is nothing but this uh, http this is the uh, target endpoint which i gave http which invoked and then it gave the response okay so it's basically echoing the same response what is coming from the api okay so now i'm going to edit the proxy where i'm going to add uh, additional uh, attributes okay so i'll just go to the develop tab so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new policy in that in that i'm going to use assign message so assign message is added okay so okay i have to add that in the request assign message okay so this is not required okay i'll delete this so what we need to do is we need to add it from the pre flow okay so i have select the pre flow so this is the place you have to add because what i'm going to do as part of this demo i'm going to receive some request uh, query parameter and then i'm going to take that value and i'm going to send or assign that into http headers of my target api okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add assign message policy in the pre flow of the default endpoint okay so the default i've added so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the variable add the header okay so add the header so this is the header i'll just add headers in that what i'm going to do is i'm adding a new header call new header name is test and here i'll just request dot query param dot my input okay so this is my query param and which i'm setting in this header okay so i'll just save it So as I have done a major change, it's suggesting to change it in a new revision. So by default, earlier I had a revision one. Now it's saved as a revision two. Okay. So now I'll uh, I have added it and I'll saved it. So it is deployed in my okay. It didn't deploy it, so I'll just deploy it in my test environment. Okay. So basically, you know, uh, we have a two revision. So that's why I have manually selected the latest version and deploying to the test environment. Okay, it's deployed. So I'll just uh, take the my. This is still uh, same. And earlier, this is the earlier response where there was nothing. Okay, so I'll just uh, send the request now. So what it does is it goes to the. Okay, so here if you see, there's a test variable, uh, which is coming in the header. Okay, because we are adding in the header as a test variable. If you see here, and the assign step we are doing. What we are doing is. we are adding a test as a header okay so that is why test header is coming <coughs> but value is coming empty because i'm not sending anything in the query params okay so here in this what i'm doing is i'm 
substituting this value for my input as a query param to this test. So that's why I, earlier I didn't pass it, it didn't come. So my input is, I'll just say test123, I'll run it. Now what will happen is, this will get assigned to this test header. So what is happening? We have taken the value from the query parameter, but when we invoke the target endpoint, uh, we wanted to set this header, test header, we wanted to set this value. So that's why, you know, it is coming test header and whatever I pass the value, it is coming. Okay, so this is for uh, using the assign message policy where you can uh, set the headers and remove the headers, uh, all those stuff, you can do it. Okay, so this is the, uh, what I did is I just created an API proxy where I have where I have added the assign uh, message policy. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is this policy so far it's deployed to the test environment because if you see only test environment is there. If you want to deploy to prod environment, now if you invoke this as a prod URL, right? So this is test and if I invoke prod, if I send this to one to the prod, it is saying this is not there because uh, the application app not deploy to the production environment. So if you need to deploy, then what you have to do? So you select prod and deploy. Okay, now it's getting deployed to prod. So once it's deployed to prod, we will be able to invoke it. So if I invoke it now, or the prod URL, so it's able to give the response back. Whatever the query parameter value I change and it's immediately, it will get set in the header test. Okay, it's, it's coming here. And uh, so what we have seen is uh, in the proxy, how to set the policy and uh, how to assign the variable and uh, that we have seen in the header. And if you wanted to download this, what are the proxy we created into the local version, then you can, you know, download the revision. So that, you know, this uh, particular entire proxy, it will come to your local. So it's getting downloaded. So once it's downloaded, I'll open it. So this is the assign variable demo. I'll just extract that one to see uh, how that is getting stored in our package structure. So if you see this package structure, any proxy, so this proxy, uh, API proxy, I have assigned variable demo, and uh, this is the, your proxy detail, where you see this one. In the develop window, whatever you see here as a default, that is getting stored in one uh, proxy endpoint detail, it's getting stored in one particular file which is a proxy and then you have a target which is this target endpoint details it's getting stored here and other than that whatever the policies you have that information getting stored as a XML here and this is the entire uh, proxy uh, structure for example uh, instead of calling the target endpoint for example target endpoint we are invoking this one so instead of that I wanted to invoke some other API for example I wanted to invoke this API mock target.apg.net okay so now what I can do is in the target, I can edit it. Okay, so if you want to do the development in your local, then what that is also possible. So you download it and you change the XML configuration directly and save it and you upload it into the APG platform. Okay, so I just changed this uh, CDB target connection. I changed it, I saved it. Now what I'll do, I'll compress this one. Okay, whatever it is there, right? So I, I change the name alone. I'll archive it. Okay, just uh, compressed it. So this is the one I'm going to upload it to the APG platform.